Right, here we go. Hudson Park, Giannetta G40s, next round of the SOT Championship. I'll leave a link in the description below. And if you want to jump in and join, you can do. You're more than welcome, there's quite a few um, subscribers on here. Um, we'll, we've, got, we've got quite a few of them on the left. <laughs> you know who you are. So, here we go, first clap, clap, clap. Oh, you may be wondering why I'm um, recording like this and doing my voice like this. Sons of Tyranny are also known as Sons of Tourette's, and it's addictive, so I get as bad as them. Um, so we can't really uh, be posting that up and be YouTube friendly anymore. So this is all you can have, unless you come and join, of course. Then we're ear defenders or a strong constitution. So we've got Big Bad Wolf in front of us. And Helen Friggin Keller just in front there. And then Oboe in front, who is just an alien. He holds the world record in this car, in this track. You'll probably see his name sprinkled around the um, world records. So forget Oboe, Oboe's just, 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 time trialing on his own. Track is damp. Uh, there is a big puddle and uh, mid on the second chicane. And uh, it doesn't show up, but you'll see the spray coming up and show up on the replay for some reason. Re weird reason. The uh, practice and qualifying were, well the practice was in the wet. Qualifying was was dry but um, Lots of puddles. Uh, luckily, the race it got even drier, and we only really had to one big puddle to work out. So, Big Bad Wolf goes wide there, and I'm through, and I'm away up into third. Now, Keller up in front is using a, a, a joypad. It's a PS5 joypad, apparently that makes all the difference, but using the joypad. Which is sickening really, when you think about the, the thousands people spend on their wheels and all the rest of it. And there they are, just keeping up with Obo. <laughs> Nightmare. some good battles going on further back with Wilf and uh, Grenade. Carty's hanging onto the back of them as well. Mudhead and Vic is Mr. 2154 have um, had it coming together on the first corner of the first lap. No more shall be said about that. Although Mudhead did let him pass him again. So it's put miles behind. Weird angle there, Owen. What's, what's going on there? Completely messed that double right hander up. I think I qualified in fourth, possibly fifth. So I'm um, punching above my weight here. trying to use my consistency to uh, pick up any places from mistakes. Unfortunately, my consistency on this race is not great. Third gear, hook it in, run it wide. And down the hill we go. Back down to third, roll it in. Easy on the power and just open it up. I'm uh, going into a massive slip angle. But, uh, I'm holding Big Bad Wolf at bay. A ah, massive, massive lock up on the front right there. That comes back to bite me. Uh, tires are on. There you go. Here comes Big Bad Wolf. Give him room. 
jump on the back of him again. So yeah, tyres on five times were. There is a pit stop due. So locking up like that absolutely destroys your tyres. So my front right is uh, not looking pretty at the moment. And gets worse. There's the puddle. You can see the spray kicking up a bit. So if you see any unusual lines through there, it's because you just have to play across that puddle. I didn't milk it up that time. And here we go. And that front right's about to bite me now. And bite Big Bad Wolf. Oof. Well, I'm done. Apologies all round. <laughs> and now I'm quite aware of that front right. Get yeah, third gear, hook it in. Run a little bit wider. Again, there's that front right just locking up. Locking up so easily now, and it's warm. It just compounds the problems. And this is lap 4 or 15. And we're hanging in with Big Bad Wolf, which is uh, unusual because he's a quicker driver than me. Three cut warnings throughout the 15 laps for that, not that, but it she came before, uh, so I had to stop hopping it. Got a little bit too deep on it. There we go for the puddle again. You can see the cars jinking around over it, with a spray up the tyres. The track is damp all the way around, so we haven't got huge amounts of grip. Cars are rocking a whole 146 brake cars per hour, something like that. Pretty light though. Really well sorted chassis, made for close racing. Again, front right. time out now on the, on the braking zones so thoughts are going through my head about pit stops I'm trying to jump him in the pit stops but how long can I wait to the last of the beat can I can I run to the end of the race on the new tires so at the moment we've only done five laps and there's ten to go see them but I'll tell you about them they're very nice <laughs> Steve and Keller have done the own McCarty doing the rest just about holding on under a second behind 
really struggling with the tyres front. That's how it being said, everybody else is. to um, tyre saving mode is uh, just over a second up in front. to the car wash here. See it's both running a bit wide. <laughs> Holding with it and uh, Keller's still up there in front. Trying to hold on to the back end of Big Bad Wolf with uh, my tyres, being what they are or what they're not. A bit of smoke kicked up there from uh, Wolf. So he's starting to struggle as well. Wolf got two wheels on the grass there. It's the worst place to get on the grass. That really high speed left hander. time. So the pit stops because it's going to be about 26 seconds. How sad is it that I remember how long the pit stops take? Dear me. Uh, yeah, you've got to change all four tyres. You don't have to refuel and uh, you don't have to repair any damage. You've just got to change four tyres uh, and everybody's uh, got to do it at least once in the race. Somebody else is in there, I'll we'll show you who that is. Oh, that's Keller, sorry. So we've got Vic behind us now. 
seconds, 13 seconds, 14, 15, as he fell off the track. Sounds like he has. <laughs> Looks like he has. We're a little bit closer to um, Keller, not much though. So we've just got to wait for um, Bobo and Wolf to come in. Let's see what the front end settles down at. I say the front end, I'm, I'm in the middle of the back as I usually am. Safe and, safe and comfortable. Carty's up to seven. Taking the other two is pitted. Carty's usually very good on tyres, so. Looks like he's stretching it out again. trying to do is get a jump on Wolf. Wolf is in the pits because Will's just gone up into and we're almost in the pits so grenades up at uh, Steve sorry is at number one. Oboe's in the pits number two. Will's in the pits as well he's jumped in he's jumped him in the pits. So Steve looks like he's been there uh, it went long on his tyres as well. If you don't have any lock-ups or any big slides, then yeah, you, you, can, you can push the tyres quite a lot. Um, if you're driving aggressively, not good. And there's Wolf, we've jumped him in the pits. There's a cacophony of Welsh swear words comes echoing through the headset. Fresh set of tyres. Wolf doesn't need it. Doesn't, doesn't need invites like that. Step back in behind me. I've started breathing again after that one. got to uh, drive with our elbows out now which is going to slow me down a bit race goes on. And on to lap 10. Five to go. And Grenade is in front of Wilf. He's jumped Wilf, so that um, he's jumped him in the pits. Now Wilf's just gone past Grenade again, so they're having a mighty old battle there. I'm holding on to third, but you know that's not gonna not gonna last long. The crazy Welshman flashing his lights behind me. Same as behind me, didn't I? <laughs> He's just backing off slightly as we go through the chicane. I'm on uh, the ultimate look after the tyres at the moment. Which I 
did manage to do this second half of the race. Woo hee woo ah, that puddle's caught me out. Seven seconds behind me. Uh, he's polishing me back one foot. Oh, he's got a nice run through there. Down to the braking zone, he's on the inside. Nothing I can do. He's leaving room up the inside. Nice and neat, nice and clean. Like Will Bird taking a trip across the grass behind us. The status quo is uh, returned. Lap 11. seconds up the road from uh, Keller, putting in 158s. Trying to 
force a mistake and trying not to make a mistake. Name of the game at this point. Because I'm not going to beat him on the uh, times. And there's my mistake. He got a mistake as well, Pervers. He got away with it better than I did. <coughs> so that's uh, where I get. Wilf actually uh, got pretty close. But that, that's it for the next... Uh, for the rest of the race. So we will have a look at some other people. There's Wilf coming down behind me in the red car. Good solid race from Wilf this weekend. He usually has uh, some problem or other, but uh, he didn't have any problems this weekend. Nice line through the puddle. And on to Vic. 25 seconds behind Mudhead, 9 seconds behind him. It's kind of out in no man's land. Really uh, unfortunate start for him when he got taken off in the first corner. Now his lines come round the outside of the Very nice. So on to Mudhead. controller as you can probably tell from the steering angle there Jesus he was having a bad weekend shall we say we'll leave it at that oops somebody's throwing signs at him now on to Steve not that far behind uh, Mudhead there Parcels to deliver his least foot down. Steve usually runs at the same time as me, depends on the car and the track. Sometimes a bit quicker, sometimes a bit slower. It's obviously had issues. My dad's gone into the pits to retire. I think Steve's struggling with tyres, as everybody is at this point. And here we have Carty, who's just been passed by. Keller, just been lapped. We'll have uh, Wolf on his uh, back bumper any minute. There's Wolf just in the back of the picture in the green car. to Oboe. This is uh, yeah, a lesson in uh, how to drive these cars. Ooh, a little puff, puff of smoke as he entered in there. The guy's on rails, so it's... Uh, Friggin' Keller. Had a fantastic race. Got in second and held it. Comfortably all the way through. And we'll go back to... Uh, in fact, we'll go back to Wolf. So that's everybody. Coming up to lap Carty. Taking his time or not. <laughs> oh dear. I'm sure Carty would have said go, go for it. 
Not the greatest place where the puddle is. That's it, we'll switch to... Uh, myself, as we come for the end of the, uh, end of the race. Thanks for watching, guys. As I said, if you want to jump in, if you've made it to the end of the video, my God. Deserve a medal. Uh, if you want to jump in in any future races, you can jump in on this championship. I'll leave a link to the Discord below. We race on Sunday evenings. And you're more than welcome. Just join the Discord and jump in. There you go. Give Cartier a rattle as we finish the race. Adios.